hi guys in this video we are going to discuss about the progressive tax we already know the meaning of the word tax it is some some kind of an amount which the government imposes on on its citizens but let's see what's the meaning of the word as a whole that is the progressive tax it is a tax in which the tax rate increases the tax rate increases as the taxable base rate increases now what these jargon terms mean here let's see them one by one tax rate when we say tax rate it simply means some kind of a thing which is into percentage which is into percentage for example 5% or 10% or 20% or anything like that and when we say taxable base rate it's actually the income of the person the income of the person annually income of the person annually it is quite simplified that what I am talking here about. Uh, it can depend upon the tax laws of the country. It could be annually, it could be quarterly or something else. It is the rate or rather the taxable amount on which the tax is about to get calculated. Okay. So for example, let's say we have four person here. Uh, let them give some faces. Okay. Now this guy name with Okay, with nice smile. He is Shrey. He is Shrey. Okay. Now, there is another guy. He is wearing a hat. Okay. Now, he is wearing a hat. Okay. He has small moustache. Okay. And then, another guy is there. He is a Sadarji. His name is Sunny. Okay. His name is Sunny. Okay, he is having a bear as well. Okay. And this guy's name was Sumit. He's Sunny. And now we have a pretty lady. Her name is Poonam. Her name is Poonam. Okay. And she's the fine little lady there. Okay. She is Poonam. Now what what happens now? Let's say all of them earn some kind of money in an year, and uh, say here something like, okay, Shrey uh, Shrey earns fifteen thousand of rupees per month. Sumit earns forty thousand of rupees per month. Sunny earns a good amount, eighty thousand rupees a month, and Poonam is the wealthiest of all. She earns one lakh rupees a month okay it the currency may depend upon the country in which you live okay here all people are earning some some or the other kind of money okay so if we, we just calculate that into year basis it will come out to be multiplied by 10 oh I'm sorry 12 and this will come out to be 1 lakh 80,000 it will come out to be 4,80,000 that is 40,000 into 12 okay then this figure comes out to be 9,60,000 okay and the last one what Poonam earns is 12 lakh whooping 12 lakh an year now let's see what happens here the progressive tax regime it says that the tax rate increases as the taxable rate increases now what we see here is the taxable rate is increasing this is my taxable rate which is which should be calculated annually in regular cases okay so my taxable rate is increasing 480 is greater than 180 and 9,60,000 is greater than 4,80,000 and so on and so forth. So here my taxable base rate is increasing so my tax rate should also increase that is the percentage amount that the cut of the government should also increase. And let's take an example here okay the government says it's it's for the example let's say the government says below 2 lakh of rupees that is if your earning is below 2 lakh of rupees there will be no tax there will be no tax that is my tax rate is 
my tax rate would be 0%. In another scenario, he says, that is the government says, between 2 lakh and 5 lakh of rupees, let's say it's into rupees, okay, between 2 lakh and 5 lakh of rupees, the tax amount would be 10%, would be 10%, and another slab that the government gives is 5 lakh to 10 lakh and above 10 lakh above 10 lakh and the taxable rates for all these are 20 percent and 30 percent respectively that is if you are earning below 2 lakh the government will not ask for any kind of tax if your earning is between 2 lakh to 5 lakh, the government says, okay, you are earning pretty good, give us 10% out of it. If it is 5 lakh to 10 lakh, the government says, okay, it is much better than before, we want a 20% of a cut, and then if it is above 10 lakh, then it says, okay, man, you are you're the wealthiest person in town, and you, you can donate more than the regular person are doing, the regular citizens are doing in, in the country. Okay, so they ask for a 30% cut. Now let's see in this example again. Here Shrey, who's earning 1,80,000 a month, the government says, okay, guy, you, you need not pay anything. So 0% cut. Okay, he's giving no tax at all. No tax. No tax. Okay, this guy is giving 20%. I'm sorry, it is 10%. Sunny gives 20%. And Poonam, the wealthiest of all, she pays 30% of tax. So in other sense, if we see, the government is going for a progressive tax regime. Okay, It's a progressive tax regime where the person who are earning less, they are not being charged. The person who are earning good amount of money, okay, they are, they are paying a nicer amount of tax also. So we can say this tax reduces the tax incidence, that is the tax burden. Let me just write it down. This tax, that is a progressive tax, reduces, okay, it reduces the tax burden, the tax burden, or the tax incidence, we also call it in, in commerce term, it's tax incidence, okay, incidence. It, it, reduces the tax incidence of the people of the people with lower ability with lower ability to pay ability to pay ability to pay let me just circle it down lower ability to pay and and for the people, as it gets shifted, as it gets shifted, get shifted to those, to those with higher ability to pay, with higher ability to pay. Now, what does this mean? seems something another jargon that I'm I'm posing here let's see here again read it again the tax reduces the tax burden of the people with lower ability to pay that is those people who cannot afford or who, who have less money the tax burden reduces the tax burden reduces on them for example here in case of Shrey and Sumit here the tax burden is negligible it's zero percent which is nothing or 10% which is a lesser amount and in other case as it gets shifted to those with high ability to pay that is the tax burden shifts to those people who have high ability to pay so that these people who have high ability to pay that is 5 lakh or above kind of income the tax burden shifts to those this is called as the progressive tax regime i hope i was able to make this thing clear. Thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead.